So who needs advanced lipid testing? If you're younger, like in your 40s, and you've already had a heart attack, you've already had one stent, and you go back and you need another one, your cholesterol's still high and it's not coming down, these are people that would benefit from advanced uh, lipid testing. And by advanced, I mean like getting a lipoprotein little A, um, an ApoB, and an LDL particle number. Those numbers will help us determine how much lower we need to go on your LDL um, or your, your, you know, your lipid panel um, because it, we have therapeutics that could target a lot of that and bring it down. Now, we don't have anything that can treat LP little a, obviously, just yet. Um, there are two or three medications that are almost out that can. But the whole idea is that people keep having multiple events over and over and over again. These are people that you could argue for doing um, advanced lipid testing and then treating that more aggressively but you could also argue that if they keep having this you need to treat them aggressively regardless which is what we used to do which is what i do um even if